Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how you can make a passport sized photo in Photopea. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in Photopea and this is how the home page looks like. So right here in the left side of your screen, you're going to find all of the sections. Here you're going to find the home section, this device, the drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, and so on. And right here, you're going to find these three options. New project, open from computer, and lastly, right here, you're going to find your template. So firstly, we're going to click on new project. Once you click on new projects, right here, you're going to need to choose all of the uh, settings for your project. So right here, you can choose a name for your project. For example, I'm going to name it Passport Photo. And then right here, you can choose the width in pixels, the height, the DPI. And right here, you can choose your background. So if you have a PNG, you can choose a white background. And right here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find a lot of sizes. Here, you're going to find social, print, photo, screen, and so on. Go ahead and click on photo and then once you're here go ahead and choose wallet then once you do that you go ahead and click on create and then your project will be created once you're here go to the top right, left corner right here you're gonna find file go ahead and click on it then right here you're gonna find new open open in place open more and there you're gonna find a lot of settings go ahead and click on open and then Go ahead and search for the uh, picture you want to add. So as you can see, guys, this is it. I'm going to click on it, then click on open, and then it will be added right here. And once you add your picture, just go here to file, click on it. Then right here, you're going to find save as PSD, save more, export as. Go ahead and click on export as, and then choose the form that you want. So I'm going to click on JPG and then once you're here, go ahead and click on save and then your photo will be saved. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.